Hey guys and welcome, it's Matt again and this is my setup tour as promised. This is uh, my current 2020 setup tour uh, and also my work from home area. Uh, obviously been a crazy year this year so getting straight into it. Starting off with my chair, this is the Ergo 2 by Autonomous AI. It's a beautiful Ergo style chair of course. Uh, switched from a gaming chair earlier this year and have a look back, this is a brilliant bit of kit. Uh, highly recommended. Moving on to my PC, I'm not going to bore you with all the specs, they are here on the left hand side if you wanted to pause and I will link to all of these below. This is the dynamic case from Lian Li, it's absolutely beautiful and very easy to build in. Loads of space both at the front and at the rear for cable management. So moving on from there, we go to our monitors. Firstly, the uh, Asus PB287Q 4K monitor, which is my reading monitor on the left-hand side. Uh, and my main monitor is this Samsung 34-inch uh, Quad HD 75 hertz monitor. Behind that, I have tucked away a nice Destiny Edition PlayStation 4, one of my favorite uh, consoles of all time, uh, which is hidden using a hide-it mount. Very good quality mounts for any of your consoles, including the new ones. So my desk area starts off with the Logitech G512 carbon keyboard. Nice aluminium construction, very subtle, along with the matching G502 Hero mouse. The form gut mouse mat was a new addition this year. Went away from an RGB mouse mat to something a little bit more kind of sophisticated, which is the felt mouse mat, which feels really good. Uh, you can get this on Amazon. Again, I will link to all of these products below. But it looks really cool, really enjoy that. When I'm streaming or doing my meetings, webcam meetings, I use the EOS 1100D on a uh, Elgato multi-mount. I also have the 77D which I rotate with that for slightly better uh, quality video. And I have the C920 as a backup. My second PC, stats again on the left, is used for when I'm streaming. And it's a very similar spec uh, with a slightly lower quality GPU. When I am streaming, I use the uh, USB 3.0 splitter, which is mainly for my headphones, my mic, uh, and anything else which is used for stream only. When I push that button, it will switch it to PC2, which means I don't have to unplug anything, which is very, very convenient when I'm streaming. Um, moving on, my Sony soundbar is what I use for all of my, uh, my sound. It's a very nice quality, really good bass on that as well. And of course, Elgato Stream Deck needs no introduction, an absolute must have. So earlier this year, I worked with blue microphones. Uh, this is the Yeti Caster, which is the arm, the shock mount and the mic. Very good quality and is what I'm recording on now. The BenQ screen bar was probably one of my newest additions. Uh, this goes on your uh, monitor and is just counterweighted and shines down on your keyboard, lights up your gaming area, which is actually very convenient when you're playing at nighttime and you, uh, you can't see what you're pressing. It just keeps it nicely lit while the rest of the room is nice and ambient. Obviously lots of lighting in this setup. These are the nano leaf panels. Uh, hopefully you know about these, but very, very popular for setup builders. Crazy colors, very, very bright, very vivid. And the smaller ones are made by Colo Light. The Yeti Nano is my spare mic, which is what I use generally for making videos for YouTube because I will place that one across the room. Uh, I've always got a, a headset on the go being tested. This is the XPG and on the left of my monitor here is the Cougar Immersa. So there is my setup. The desk was actually built by uh, myself. It was a Wix uh, kitchen worktop that I cut down with the classic IKEA Alex drawers below and some furniture risers to lift that up so you can get the RGB glow beneath. Of course any gaming area wouldn't be complete without uh, some collectibles, caps, and camera equipment, which is what I keep to the left of my desk. Uh, this is the uh, Elgato HD60, which of course is what I use to stream the signal from my main PC to my second PC when I am streaming. And of course Crash Bandicoot there holding my favorite PlayStation controller. I do like snapbacks. Obviously with someone without hair, got to look after that dome when you're out in the sun. So I've got plenty of choices there as well. As well as some other cool bits like my Game Boy, 
which is refurbished, uh, my gimbal, my Sony Bluetooth headsets, and my mug collection. And you can never have too many controllers, right? So one of my other headsets is the SteelSeries Arctis 7. I've had these for quite a while now. They are very, very comfortable. I tend to use these for the PlayStation 4. Uh, these are wireless uh, and they're brilliant. They're super, super cool. Uh, I have the dongle plugged into the PlayStation at all times. And for those who do follow my Instagram, this is how I like my setup. This is the newer 650 LED panel. It's a mains uh, powered and battery powered light. I have two of these which fold up into a very, very small bag. Um, very very cool lights so just a last spin round of the setup again this is in my dining room this isn't a dedicated room this is the room the family uses this is where I work during the day uh, obviously kids do their homework coloring in have dinner breakfast it's all a bit crazy so this is a promotional video that I made for blue microphones and Logitech gaming as I say I worked with earlier in this year so I'm just gonna leave this to play if you've got any follow-up questions drop them in the comments below obviously any uh, subscribes and likes and comments are greatly appreciated my channel is still fairly new i'm trying to grow this now if you'd like to see more content obviously this will uh, keep me motivated to see those subs coming in so just click that that subscription button below and i hope to make more of these for you soon so i'll leave you to watch this and take care soon guys